130 years ago today, on June 17, 1885, the Statue of Liberty reached New York shore. A year before reassembly was complete and the finished statue was revealed. To commemorate the iconic figure's past 125th anniversary, we look back at a reporter, Jeff Glorfeld, celebrating the landmark. She stood as a testament to the American dream for 125 years. Lady Liberty welcomed 12 million immigrants as their boats entered New York Harbor. Get to see the real thing, it's, well, it's wonderful. Today, thousands of tourists board the Staten Island Ferry for free to get that familiar and stunning passing glimpse. But only Park Superintendent Dave Lusinger's family is lucky enough to call Liberty Island home. My wife and I, that's it. It's a small city. It's a very small city, yes. <laughs> True, there's the inconvenience of having to lug groceries three miles by boat. So come on in and uh, see our little abode. But there are benefits. And uh, there's the million dollar view. And very quiet back here. I would imagine. Yeah. Except for the even except even for the with the uh, 20,000 visitors we mm -hmm. have out in the front. And there's always a beautiful lady so in the backyard. How tall is she again? She's 305 feet tall. Okay. On the eve of renovations that will close the statue for a year, Dave gave us the tour of a lifetime. Very tight. And then up 354 steps in a tight stairway all the way to the crown. You can feel her sway up here. Yes. Yeah. Well, if she, if she wasn't built to sway, she could literally crack. And uh, she's been standing for 125 years. and. Uh, Oh, there she's moving right now. Yeah. And she's, Feel that? Yep. And she's supposed to be good for another thousand years, so uh, she'll be here a long time. The last year visitors were allowed to climb all the way to the statue's torch was in 1916. But on this anniversary, a torch webcam is being unveiled, and we got a sneak preview. You're actually looking down from the torch, from the terrace, down. That is amazing. Thanks to the internet, now everyone can enjoy the incredible views. We also stopped at Ellis Island, which is unveiling their own new addition, dedicated to early American immigration. The goal of this uh, exhibit is to tell the uh, period of arrival in the United States between 1500 and 1890. Once Ellis opened, all new arrivals came through here, the famed Great Hall. At peak, there were how many people being processed in this room every day? The peak day was in 1907, and there were 12,000 people being processed that day. Coming through this room? Coming through this room. Statue of Liberty employee Charles Walker has been a guide here for more than 20 years. His love of the job and of these sites never gets old. When I tell people I work for the Statue of Liberty, I said uh, my job is to protect and preserve America's heritage for the next generation. It's an international treasure, not just a national one. And the goal is to keep it that way for a long time. Absolutely. 